one. Hello everybody, Reaper X1 here, back out in the boat in Terratech 0.6.02. In this round I kind of slammed together about three videos and sped them up, made them look a little funny, and this is how I ended up searching and finding all my blocks. So I think in the last one I mentioned that my uh, base system, I wasn't too impressed with it. There's some changes I wanted to make. <laughs> well, I also didn't have enough blocks or money, so this little video here is the story of salvage and destruction. And harvesting, I guess. Can't forget that. <coughs> Well, this has been a really good tech so far. I'll tell you right now, from the experience, these things give a good amount of blocks. They blow up kind of easy, but man, they leave some stuff. Good stuff, even. And this is my new method for cleaning up. While well, the uh, SCU's working, this guy is too, so it helps speed things up a wee bit. Not the fastest way, of course, but this tech does hold quite a few. I think it'll hold 120 in the three uh, receivers that it has. I don't know if bigger blocks count for more in the tractor beams or not, but don't seem to. Instead of redeploying that SCU, I'm just going to lure this guy back. I think that'd be a, a nice way of doing it. Look at that. It's like a firework. Alright, get that working on that side, and I'll go clean this side. I keep forgetting to put lights on this guy, too. I just noticed that. It's still pretty dark. Well, maybe the next uh, video will remember that, or hard to say. Memory ain't the greatest. Little details like that sometimes slip through the cracks. It's weird though, because I'll forget small details like that for the longest time, but then when I'm working on a monster tech, or any tech really, the small details that stand right out and probably because it's fresh in my mind I'm still working on it but you know, I just find little things like that funny odd, weird you know all those three things that make up me <laughs> funny, odd and weird yeah, that's a stubborn one been a pretty good little grasslands for having lots of resources in it. Nice clusters of them. And it also has a nice little green hat. That's kind of cool. I usually find those special blocks kind of easy. I don't think I found the new lemon block yet though. A little more harvesting. Getting her done. No, we couldn't harvest like that all the time, eh? One day I'll build a tech that can. It's the hard part is with the drills. If you line the whole front with those uh, down, downward pointing uh, tri drills, or what are the hell are they? Cerberus drills, I think they're called. They get caught a lot on all the little ups and downs in the hills. What's going on? Getting some weird pauses going on. I don't know if my computer's having a headache or what's going on. 
Oh, another crash. Yeah, I've had a few crashes in this, but I'm not sure exactly what's causing them. It seems to be different things. So I've had crashes when I was just building R&D. I've had crashes when I was cleaning up in the main game. <coughs> I've had a crash when I was just driving. I think it was harvesting, actually, so yeah, I guess I was doing that. And there might have been one where I was just driving through a biome. But the only things that I've had in common with each one was a lot of stuff in tow on those uh, tractor pads and receivers. Other than that, I don't know. So I don't haven't really been leaving many blocks laying around in the game. So that shouldn't really be taxing the system. I've had a few, like you can see there, I got maybe six or seven enemies. Oh, those are bases. So those will clean up. But yeah, nothing is a major game killer for an enemy. Looks like I blew most of that base up. On to the next spot. Yeah, we're getting a lot of enemies showing up now, looks like. I have to clear some of these out. Chew them up. Chew them up. Oh, I'm back home. processing. Not sure, I might change the way those cannons are. They might be raised up a bit higher. Kind of a pain in the butt that they can't get right at it. The only downside is if anyone gets under that, I'm going to probably blow up half my receivers. Definitely not the perfect base. I never said it was, and I know it's far from it. I just had a bunch of them. Those cannons wanted to use them up. Seems like a pretty common thing to get anymore. At one time, if you had more than oh, sort of, if you had more than four, you were doing amazing. Now my little guy there, I think he has 14. And he's just what's running around. There's only one real tech that kind of puts a challenge up so far against this guy. I can't remember its name, but it has like, oh jeez, 50 freaking firework launchers on it. Nothing but a lag machine is all it is. It has a bunch of cannons too, but it's about the only thing that kind of really damages me. And I think it's just because of the fireworks. It just fills the air with them and you have no way of dodging it. A few more parts for the build to come. Well, sometimes it's not even worth getting the SCU out. <laughs> A couple quick shots and they're gone. Ooh, invader. <coughs> Let's see who we get this time. Oh, that guy. Oh, I missed the name. Oh, he's dancing. Look at that sucker fly. Oh, I hit my base. Or their base, which was going to be my base. Oh, ah, well. Every part helps. Helps even more when it's free. Yeah, I can't stop you on it. I don't know what the problem is. It's about 6 o'clock in the morning right now. I've only been up for a few hours. <laughs> we'll say. Maybe 3 or 4 hours.
No, I guess we've been up since midnight. Oh, now they're going. Oh, that just looked brutal. Yeah, I haven't been sleeping very good the last little bit, so I'm playing games, making videos. Keeps me entertained. I've <laughs> been doing a little animating too. Trying to make a new intro for uh, my videos. Maybe one that's not so specialized. Like, I got one for Terror Attack, I got one that I threw together for Dying Light. Yes, if anyone would like to check that out, that's a new game that I've been playing. Well, older new game to me that I've been playing. Making videos for. I know most people don't want to watch the older stuff, but the odd ones who do, it's there. I'm just looking to enjoy playing them and sharing the experience. If I make a few bucks from monetizing it along the way, just an added bonus. I think I said this in one other video, but originally when I started making videos for YouTube, it wasn't to make money. I didn't find out about that until after. I think I had like, I don't know how many videos, but I remember it being like 1500 views or something. And then I found out you could make money off it. Fair to might as well. Right now I could use some money. Yeah, computer upgrades are needed and everything else. Make life in general easier, so we'll see what happens. If it pays out, perfect. If not, well, at least I tried. Still make videos though. I think that's the only thing that would stop me, f or the only thing that will stop me from making videos is if they're not fun anymore. <coughs> and I don't know, I like creating, so... I ain't seen being fun for a while. Uh, I think that's like two bases there I've rounded up in the last minute. I almost miss those big base spawning fests that used to go on. I haven't had one of them yet in this uh, playthrough. You get like ten bases to run through and just destroy. Can't go wrong with that. I think this is where my radar started messing up. So at one point I was having a problem with the radar where my uh, my base that I was making didn't show up. Or none of my stuff at all showed up as red. Needless to say it had me worried there for a little bit. I think that's what caused me to stop playing that during that video. I figured there may be a restart would fix things. Let's see. Take the radar off and I get a different radar. Where the heck am I going? Let's see. It's messing with me. Uh, this is never a good way to find your base either. Just wander aimlessly. If you don't know what direction it was in, don't bother. Oh, another crash. Kind of saw that coming with the radar messed up. Speaking about radar, I kind of like them to have like all four directions, you know, not just north. Put east, west, and south on there. I really want to go the extra mile, put all the little in-betweens too, northwest and that. Ugh, jeepers. Yeah, so I usually don't put that on, 
my email address, but for anyone who's watching, you can email me there if it has something to do with the games and that. <coughs> or if you just like what you've seen and want to say hey or whatever. I'm pretty social most of the time, so I don't mind hearing from new people. I've been warned about doing that, though, giving out my email address. But that is my gaming address, so it's not too much there that can be heard, I don't think. But since I was warned, I also warn others. If you start emailing me bullshit, I will get back at you. I do this for fun. I don't want any of what I guess it's called a troll or trolls. So, putting myself out there a little bit. Oh, I hope I just get none, nothing but decent people to interact with. That's a nice little haul of resources in the back there, though. Wish it wasn't mostly wood, but what can you do? And this little bit here, I just made there today. That won't mean much by the time anyone sees the video, but my radar's back functioning normal, looks like. Everything's nice and the way it should be. So I can actually find my base now. If this hadn't worked this time where the base was showing up, I was just going to have to restart. I wasn't going to spend hours hoping to find it. Could have used a plane, I guess. Made it maybe quicker, but... I really don't want to leave this guy behind. I don't want to tear him apart. And have to rebuy him. Well, I guess that base is mine already. <laughs> Looks like I need some more red uh, resources in there. I have so much wood and nothing else. Well, my money's building up not too shabby now. Forty some thousand. Gonna get better here in a second. Yeah, there we are. <coughs> you know, something's up when that comes out, eh? Either picking up parts or laying them down. Fair pull out some of that red oleus. Get that on my vehicle so it's doing some good. And I'm not sure what I have going on why I have that silo there exactly and I forgot to put a filter on it. kind of debating on what I wanted to really do, so I figured I'd unload, and if I can, find a side that's empty. There we are. And I just can't squeeze under there anymore. I have to change some stuff around, I think. couple more blocks I can find the better. I like just running into them. The turret there.
Yeah, one thing I've thought of doing though is all the bases that I find, if I could take them over without destroying them, I've actually thought of leaving them. In this spot in the map with them. Yeah, see this is that guy I was telling you about. One with all the fireworks. Can't tell what the name is there. Oh, come on, show his name again. I missed it. I don't ruin, maybe? I think that might be the guy who built it. I don't know, moved too fast. Couldn't see it. That was just me guessing who made it. Little guys. They're nicely cleaned up. Another one of them. <laughs> Lots of parts. I like that. I wish it'd stay in a smaller spot, but oh well. What can you do? Deal with what you get. Yeah, this is this little machine cleaning up at its finest. Let's see if it can... Uh, I bet you can get most of that cleaned up. If I made it bigger, I could clean it all up maybe one pass. That'd be a lot bigger, though. Who's this guy? I think Payload Studios made this one. I lead him on. Yeah, I had enough of him. Push through him. Yeah, Payload Studios. It's kind of nice seeing them have some of their own techs, more of them in here with the rest of the communities. I know those guys can build techs. They just don't have time to build like we do. I like to see what they create just as much as they like to see what we create. I need some drills or something on the back of this, maybe. I need to plow over resources, too. Wouldn't have to worry about banging in and busting blocks off the back of my thing. And put her all back together, and off I go. Good time to head home. Oh no, he's back in the grasslands. He didn't do so good that time though. He didn't even get over near my base. Should have let him. No, well, don't really want him blowing it up though. I don't know if he would, it's got quite a few cannons on that base. As long as they can hit them, they definitely do some damage to them.
little last minute roundup. Lots of goodies. Now, well, what am I up to? I'll do a little bit of a tear apart. Oh, that was the wrong one to pull. <laughs> Back though. Glad the undo button stayed there for me. <coughs> yeah, this is the start of the rebuild though. There, I set her all up and be all good to go. And now that I got about 72 grand almost, I should have a few bucks that I can work with. Might still need a few more blocks, but I don't know, we'll see. Be all the base ones that I need probably, because I do, I do plan on making this a little more efficient to get efficiency you usually have to have more than one of each thing yeah and I finally got one of those big uh, geocore regens so I think I'm gonna work it into my tech instead of my base see what I can do with it Get that battery in there better. I don't want to take any batteries off. I want to add some to it, if anything. There. Now my guy stays healthy. I don't know if it still works where the shields re or the regen heal enemies, but I hope not. A little tinkering around, a little fine tuning, and should be all set for the next round where we get into actual building this uh, base up. So, until next time, everybody, I think this is about the end of the video there.